to Better Health Together and in particular welcome to Dan Minchin who is the CEO of Chorus and we're having a conversation about social isolation and loneliness. So Dan, what do you think is going on and, and why is it now that we're seeing loneliness as being inextricably linked to a person's health and well-being? Yeah, well, I, I, I think um, over a number of decades, um, uh, and it is sort of empirically become more and more evident that social isolation and the fragmentation of society is is happening. It's been consistently kind of shown uh, that uh, social isolation has a big impact on people's health. And in fact, a um, study I was looking at just last week, um, sort of a meta-analysis across a whole lot of um, different studies had found that it was a, uh, had a bigger impact on mortality and negative impact on people's um, life expectancy than any other factor, including smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Um, so there's something really important mm. going on there. The WA Primary Health Alliance had an opportunity to provide a small amount of funding to look at how we could or how Chorus could look at joining up mm. health isolation connections between people. Can you talk to us a little bit about how that project's going? That's a project around uh, in increasing social connectedness uh, amongst older people in particular. Uh, and we're running a, um, a relatively small um, trial area down around Mandra. And what we're discovering, which is you know in line with what people discover around the world when they do these mm. sorts of things, is that there's the first thing is there's, there's lots in the community that is strong. Um, there are there are resources, there are uh, groups, um, there are paths people can follow to become and remain. Um, connected and engaged in, in society. The second thing is that there is a real recognition that this is, um, is a challenge. This is not something we can do from a sort of clinical or medical no. perspective. This is not about pushing services or support or models into the community. This is about inviting people to, to get involved and, and work uh, together to develop their own kind of um, connections and network. I mean, it's, you know, in a sense, what we're seeing is it's what happens outside of that medical mm. intervention that can impact mm. on people's health mm. journey. I think the paradox of, of it is it can actually make people less well. Yeah. Um, and again, that's that's been demonstrated in, in studies and it's not just health um, services, it's, it's uh, it's the service delivery mindset that all of us involved in this space, um, you know, we're very passionate about what we do and we're very committed to doing good things. But the paradox is if you walk in the door and start giving directions, you disempower immediately. We're just trying to sort of let the various things that are happening in community, including health services, mm. play their role. Role, yeah. Uh, but ultimately give people some power in their own lives. Yeah. A great project. We're really looking forward to following that uh, with you. So thinking about loneliness and isolation. What can an ordinary person do uh, if they observe this in their own community? Well, I think um, you know, the key message is, um, is to, to tap into the compassion that we know is there. Um, but if you're someone who recognises another person who's um, not, um, not particularly connected or, or is, you think he might be lonely, just reaching out from as you know, person to person, human to human, mm -hmm. and, and making those sorts of connections. We um, at Chorus uh, run a, a, a monthly podcast called Chorus Voices. We recently did um, a podcast on the subject of, of loneliness and spoke to a, a psych and um, the, this psychologist said something along the lines of, um, it's physically impossible to feel lonely in the moment of um, being off service to somebody else. And so that, that's the clue, um, you know, how can we encourage somebody to give? Yeah. Um, and think of how um, sort of empowering and connecting that feels if you get the opportunity. And I think sometimes it's as simple as friendliness, care, hellos. Well, thank you very much, mm. Dan. That's a good, great conversation. So thank you very much for taking the time and being with us Yeah, today. thanks, Leanne. Thank you to the um, WA Primary Health Alliance for the support of this project. Um, look forward to coming back in a while and sharing some outcomes. Mm. Great, thank you. Thanks.